And Matt Best has this thing where he snaps his fingers and a hot chick arrives, so I'm gonna try it this morning. Okay, apparently I didn't do that right. And... <laughs> no. All right, one more time, and... Ha-ha! There we go. A hot chick arrived. Thank you. There's the coffee. With my coffee from the ox box. What is that implement of destruction that you're holding? Well, it's the coffee box. Freaks and freakettes. Uh, we talked about this on the radio show a bunch. We put pictures up on social media. Uh, it's it's like a K-cut or a, what, Keurig on roids. Yeah. It's like a Keurig on roids. So. It's called the Ox Coffee Box, or the Ox Box. And yes, Dr. Seuss did have one, and he enjoyed it. Or he would have enjoyed it. Don't you think that Dr. Seuss would have enjoyed having an Ox Box? Somebody said, oh, you did it. Like, it finally worked. <laughs> it worked, see? No editing, live, see? Unlike Matt Best, who edits his stuff, we didn't edit that, that was live. <laughs> extreme, is, is it extreme? It's extreme! No, seriously though, it is pretty cool. Uh, we like it, we're enjoying it, we're having a good time. We've made many, 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 many cups of coffee with it. All right, we got 100 people. We got 100 people, all right. Welcome to Monday Morning Mindset. It's not Monday morning, it's Friday morning. Welcome to Morning Mindset on Friday at Student of the Gun University. Check in. Check in. Morning from Idaho. Morning from Idaho. Okay, while I'm talking, you guys just go ahead and check in, and you don't distract me. All right, about a week or so ago, uh, myself and Zach the Shipping Ogre decided that we were going to attack the jungle that is the forest and the yard that surrounds Casa de Marco. Because, as many of you may know, uh, we live in the glorious southern Mississippi region, which is kind of subtropic. And... Rain, hot, rain, hot, rain, hot. Finally, it dried out. Mow the lawn, get back there. I, that wasn't, it wasn't specifically this one, but I, uh, this is a cold steel machete. It's just a different kind of machete. Took my cold steel machete, and I went into the backyard to attack the vineage and the branches and the creepy crawly stuff that grows all over everything. I was back there working on a tree. We've got uh, pear trees in our backyard. And unfortunately, last year I didn't have a whole lot of time to be a green thumb. So I go out there and I decide I'm going to trim back and I'm going to prune some of this tree with my machete. I'm working on it. On the tree, there are saplings. You guys know what a sapling is? Basically, you have a tree and then you have all these little baby trees that are growing out of the tree. Is that a good thing or a bad thing if you want fruit, if you want the tree to be productive? It's a bad thing, why? How many times have you heard someone say something about sapping your strength? Oh, that's sapping my strength or such and such sap. Or maybe you heard your mother or father or grandparents say something about sapping your strength. Where do you think that came from? Saplings, these little branches that come out of trees sap the tree's strength. You need to cut them off. You need to get rid of them. Because if you allow those to grow on the apple tree, the pear tree, the whatever, if you allow that to go, then it can't produce fruit. It cannot be a productive tree because it's taken all of its strength and it's putting it into all these little tiny offshoots. Now what I'm gonna ask you today, what is it that you're trying to accomplish? What are you trying to do with your life? Are you trying to write a book? Are you trying to fix an old car? What is it that you're trying to put effort into? You're trying to grow your business, whatever business that might be. And as you're trying to do that, as you're trying to be productive, as you're trying to grow and produce fruit, what do you have? You have all these little tiny things, these offshoots, these saplings, and they're sapping your strength. Instead of focusing on being productive and producing fruit, instead, you have all these little small problems and issues and things that you're dealing with, and you have to deal with that, and instead of producing fruit and being productive, you're dealing with that. So what you need to do, and this is not easy, because it requires sweat and effort and time, is you need to take the machete, 
either practically or proverbially, and you need to go out and you need to cut away all the saplings. You need to get rid of them. All those little things that are sapping your strength and stopping you from being productive, from producing fruit, you need to get rid of them. You need to take the time, get rid of all those, and you need to identify them. And that's not hard for some people is they don't identify. They're like, oh, I got this and this and this and this and this. and er, Put the brakes on for a second and say, what is it that is sapping my strength? What is it that's keeping me from being productive? And once you identify that, pull out the machete, whoop, get rid of it. You're going to produce fruit. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Morning Mindset for Friday. Boom! We had somebody say that uh, SOTG was sapping their ability to get things done at work this morning. Mm. You're welcome. Suck it! Oh, anything else? Where, where, if they want to learn more about that box, where do they go? Ox, uh, Ox.com. Ox, coffee box. OXX. There's this thing on the, every device you own has a little blank bar, and you type in coffee box or OXX box or coffeebox.com, and it will take you there. The Ox, OXX, coffee box. And if you guys are on, Obviously, you're on Facebook watching us right now. They have a Facebook page. It's called Ox OXX Beyond Rugged. Beyond Rugged. Yeah. We'll tag it down in the comments. Is that it? Give them their homework assignment, and we'll go. Go to. They can hear you better than me. Oh, okay. Go to studentofthegun.com. Click the orange button. Get the seven training tips that could save your life. Sign up. Listen louder. We're gonna have a large announcement tomorrow. And so, tomorrow? Yeah, Tuesday, uh, whatever. No, today's Friday. <laughs> wow. It's Friday. We're live on Friday. Yeah. yeah. We got a big announcement on Tuesday. If you're not a grad program member, uh, you don't know this yet, but on Tuesday, we have a big announcement. So pay attention. Make sure that you're dialed in. That's it? Dialed in. Yeah. Dialed in. All right, kids. Bye. Bye.